Navantia held a press briefing in Spain where it confirmed that it is indeed submitting an offer to the Philippine Navy to meet its requirement for two submarines, submarine basing and the formation of a submarine force. Their offer is based on the S-80 Isaac Peril class diesel electric submarine, with air independent propulsion AIP, system that allows the submarine to stay underwater for as long as three weeks. Navantia also proposed to build a new submarine base in Ormoc, Leyte, which is a different location compared to within naval operating base Subic as submitted by France's naval group in South Korea's Hanwha Ocean DSME. The selection of Ormoc was based on its location with better protection against extreme weather, low seismic risk, and logistics being near a city. The base will have a state-of-the-art training site which includes simulators that is similar to Navantia's own training site in Cadiz in Spain. Like the offers of Naval Group and Hanwha Ocean, Navantia's offer is backed by a sovereign guarantee and loan for 100% of the amount by the Spanish government, which will only start payment once the submarines are delivered. So far, this offer of S-80 Isaac Peril class submarines is the largest and most advanced submarine compared to the Scorpion class and the DSME 1400 PN. The only issue with Isaac Peril class is the number of users, with only the Spanish Navy ordering four and still under construction so it's not a proven design. In comparison, the Scorpion class is not in use by the French Navy but is in use by Brazil, Chile, India, Malaysia with a total of 14 units, and Indonesia is probably another future user with two units. Meanwhile the DSME 1400 Pita Newtons is based on the DSME 1400 design used by the Republic of Korea Navy and Indonesian Navy with a total of 12 units, but is based on the Type 209-1400 submarine design from the 1980s.